Hello everyone, I am Engineer Kamran Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel Learner of Civil Engineering. Today I will be discussing that how we can find the specific gravity of a fine grain sand with the help of density boulder method. Okay? The ASTM code of this experiment is ASTM B8544. Okay? Now what is specific gravity? Specific gravity is the ratio of the rate of a given volume of a soil to the rate of equal volume of distilled water. Let's suppose the rate of soil is expressed as W1 which is equal to 50 gram and the volume of that soil is again V1 which is equal to capital V. Okay? Now for comparison purpose the rate of water let's suppose is 19 gram and the volume of water is V2 which is again equal to capital V. So now you can see the volume of soil is also capital V and the volume of water is also capital V. So now we can talk about specific gravity. Just suppose if there will be any change in, the, in these two values then this will not be a specific gravity, this will be something else. Okay? So now let me find the specific gravity of that particular soil. <coughs> Again I have the formula that the rate of a given volume of a soil of a substance to the weight of a given volume of a distilled water. So the weight of given volume of substance is 50 gram and the weight of given volume of water is 19 gram. So here the value is 2.63. Okay. So the specific gravity of my soil is again 2.63. Okay. And specific gravity bears no units because it is the ratio of a two weights. Let us discuss why it is important for us in civil engineering to find the specific gravity of site. Okay? So specific gravity in general gives us an idea that how much a substance is uh, heavier or lighter than water. Okay? As you know that the specific gravity of water is 1. Okay? So anything which is having a specific gravity value more than 1 will be heavier than water. And anything which is having a specific gravity value less than 1 will be lighter than water. So a substance lighter than water will float over the surface of water and the substance heavier than water will sink inside the water. In the specific gravity values gives us an idea about the specific gravity, about the suitability of a soil as a construction material. I suppose if the value of specific gravity will be higher then you can use this material for the roads and foundation because then it will give you a good amount of strength. Okay. The value of specific gravity can give you indirectly the void ratio value, porosity value, degree of saturation value, and other side parameters by using the weight and volume relationships, which is the second chapter of fake uh, soil mechanics. The weight and volume relationship there over there. We are having a lot of uh, relationship, a lot of formulas with the help of which uh, we can find out the uh, other soil parameters like the uh, porosity, degree of saturation by using the values of uh, specific gravity. Okay. If the value of specific gravity is more, it means that uh, its shearing sink will be more. Because uh, according to Roy and Das study, they found that if the value of specific gravity will be more, then the value of cohesion and angle of internal friction, which are known as the shear and strain parameters, will be known because I, uh, according to Coulomb law of shear strain, time is equal to c plus sigma n tangent of phi, in which c is the cohesion, sigma n is the um, normal stress, and phi is the angle of internal friction. So, if the value of specific gravity will be more, higher will be the c and phi value, and higher will be the shear and strain. Then Roy also observed that specific gravity values also increasing the California bearing ratio values. Well, California bearing ratio result or value gives us the suitability of a material for the use of either to be used in the subgrade material. So, so higher the specific gravity value, higher will be the California bearing ratio value and higher will be the set of the subgrade material which will be used in the road construction. Now the list of equipment which will be used in finding the specific gravity value. Number one is the 50 ml density bottle, the stopper. You can see this is a 50 ml density bottle along with this stopper. 
Okay. You can use the oven. You can use the funnel. You can use the uh, side container. You can use the balancer. In order to record different weights, you can use the thermometer record to record the room temperature. And you can use this uh, constant temperature water bath. You can use this constant temperature water bath, which gives us a constant temperature of uh, a sample which will be present inside in, in the water. In this, we are having this rod with the help of which we can increase or decrease the temperature of the water. This is a pump which is which will help us in circulation of the water inside this uh, constant temperature water bath. Now let us discuss the experimental procedure of that experiment. The step number one will be to just wash this density bottle with the help of water. Then uh, dry this in oven at a temperature of 105 to 100 degrees centigrade. After that when it will be completely dry then you will have to cool it to, to the room temperature. After that you will take its uh, weight which will, be, which will be known as the weight of empty density bottle W1 after that we will take about 5 to 10 gram of the dry soil and we will put inside put this inside the empty density bottle okay. and again we will record W2 now W2 will be the weight of uh, density bottle plus a dry soil in it next step we will add uh, water inside the bottle which is having dry salt sample. We will add that amount of salt sample which will be required to just cover the salt sample. After that we will shake the density bottle having water and um, soil and we will leave it for about 2 to 8 hours depending upon the type of soil. If it will be a clay soil we will have to give it a more time like 8 hours. If it is a sandy soil you will give it a less time like two to three hours because uh, sand is a granular material which can easily absorb water and which can easily be saturated. After that uh, again uh, we will add more water to the bottle so that it will be about half for again we will shake it. After that we will just uh, add more water so that the bottle will be full. We will again shake it and we will take its weight which will be known as a W3. One thing I forgot, you will have to now keep this uh, uh, density bottle in the constant temperature water bath for about uh, one hour so that uh, the temperature of the water and soil inside the density bottle will reach to 27 degrees centigrade because this procedure is uh, calibrated at uh, 27 degrees centigrade. So, with the temperature of the density bottle having water and soil in it will reach to 27 degrees centigrade we will take it out from the constant temperature water part and we will again weigh it on the weight balance okay this weight will be known as a w3 after that all of the material will be discarded from it it will be cleaned and again we will add uh, more water in the empty density bottle so that it will be full and it will be recorded on the wing balance and this will be known as a W4. Now W4 is the weight of the city bottle having water inside it only. Now we are having W1, W2, W3, W4 values. So use this formula W2 minus W1 divided by W4 minus W1 into minus W3 minus W2 to find out the value of a specific gravity. Now, let's suppose if you are not having a constant temperature water bath inside your lake, so then what you will have to do, you will have to do a specific gravity correction. A correction in K will be multiplied with this value, like in this formula, Gs prime is equal to Gs multiplied by K, where Gs is the specific gravity, K is the correction factor, and Gs prime is the corrected value of the specific gravity. How we will apply this correction? You can use this formula K is equal to relative density of water at room temperature divided by the relative density of water at 27 degrees centigrade. For which I will use this chart. This chart will be used in order to find the value of K. Let's suppose the room temperature is 22 degrees, 20, 25 degrees centigrade. The relative density value at room temperature 25 is 0 0.997. 
and the value of the reductivity at 27 degrees centigrade is how much? 0 0.996. So from this you will have to find this k value and in this k value will be multiplied with the value of the initial specific gravity and a corrective value of the specific gravity will be find out. Now this data collection template uh, will be used. You can record date over here. You can record your group name and sample identification like uh, clay or sand. Then you will use this table. Okay. In the row number first you will have to record the room temperature. Okay. Then mass of water W1, mass of water plus dioxide W2, mass of water plus soil plus water W3, then mass of water plus water W4. So guys, now let us perform this procedure practically. Let me take out the value of W1 which is known as the weight of e density bottle. It is about 35 gram with me. I will record this 35. Now I will add about uh, 5 to 10 gram of the point grain soil. And I will record this weight as well. Now I will add water inside the density bottle so that the soil sample will be just covered with this water. I will now shake it. And we live in this condition for about 2 to 8 hours. so that it will fully saturate the soil sample after 8 hours we will come back and we will resume the procedure so guys after 8 hours we have again joined the lift and now I will just uh, fill the bottle to its half I will again shake it Now I have put more water to it so that uh, the bottle will be filled up to its uh, top. I will again shake it. And if now let's suppose I will not use the constant temperature water part. So I will put it directly on the uh, well balance. I will regard its weight as W3 which is 89 gram. W2 was 41.6 gram, W1 was 35 gram. Okay guys, so for the temperature correction factor, I will record the room temperature and it is 32 degrees centigrade with me. Now for the value of W4, I have washed this bottle, after that I have dried this bottle and now I have filled it with the, its top wheel. I will whip it dry with the help of a clock. And I will record a weight which will be known as a W4. Now W4 is 85 gram. So guys after getting the value of W1 is 35 gram, W2 41.6 gram, W3 89 gram, W4 85 gram. We will field all this data into the particular equation. GS is equal to W2 minus W1 divided by W4 minus W1 minus W3 minus W2. So the resultant value of the specific gravity will be 2.53. So now guys for the temperature correction factor we will uh, just read this temple okay our room temperature is 32 uh, degree centigrade on which the value of relative density is 0 0.995 and the value of relative density at 27 degree centigrade is 0 0.996 guys uh, this data will be put over here k 0 0.996 is the relative density value at room temperature divided by the 0 0.997 is the specific gravity relative density value at 27 degrees centigrade multiplied by the specific gravity which we have initially achieved so this will give us a, a corrected specific gravity value of 2.52 so guys this was all about 
the determination of spatial gravity of soil by the density bottle method. If you are having any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Kindly like and share this video, subscribe this channel, and press the bell icon for further updates. Thank you.